क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टेम्परेचर स्केल दैट इज फेरेनाइट सेल्सियस एंड द केल्विन लेट अस स्टार्ट विद दिस now here we have three scale first one is a celsius scale second one is a fahrenheit scale and the third one that is a kelvin scale now here on this scale we will divide that is melting point and the boiling point so here first point that is a melting point of pure ice and then boiling point of the pure water so in celsius scale we know melting point of pure ice is written as 0 degree celsius and boiling point of the pure water at atmospheric pressure that is 100 degree celsius now here the scale is divided into 100 equal parts so we'll write here so one part is equal to 1 degree celsius now the second one that is a fahrenheit scale now on the fahrenheit scale we have a melting point of pure ice that is in the fahrenheits so here that value is 32 degree fahrenheits and boiling point of the water is 212 degree fahrenheits if i do 212 minus 32, we will get 180. So the scale is divided into 180 equal parts. So each part is one Fahrenheit. Now third one, that is Kelvin scale. On Kelvin scale, melting point of pure ice is 273 Kelvin. and boiling point of pure water is 373 kelvins now this scale is again divided into 100 equal parts now if we compare all this three scale we will come to know melting point of pure ice in celsius is 0 degree celsius on fahrenheit scale it is 32 degree celsius and on kelvin scale it is 273 degree celsius means its value is c so we can write here 0 degree celsius is equal to 32 degree fahrenheit which is equal to 273 kelvins this is the first relation we are getting from this three scales next part we will take that is relationship between celsius and fahrenheit or we can say conversion of celsius to fahrenheit or fahrenheit to celsius degree celsius to degree fahrenheit or degree fahrenheit to degree celsius now let us start with the relation now here let us consider celsius and fahrenheit scale suppose this is a celsius scale 0 degree celsius it's a melting point of the ice we'll write here melting point of ice and 100 degree celsius it's a boiling point of water now if we compare the scale with the fahrenheit scale then we can say here we have a 32 fahrenheits that is again melting point of the ice and here we have 212 fahrenheits that will be the boiling point of the water on the fahrenheit scale so this is called as
Fahrenheit scale. Now, here we know from the scale because melting point of ice, this is a constant value and the scale is different. So, here we can write 0 degree Celsius is equal to 32 degree Fahrenheit. So, this is our equation 1. Or if you want to write down in terms of the boiling point, we will write 100 degree Celsius on Celsius scale is equal to 212 degree Fahrenheit on the Fahrenheit scale. This is equation number 2. Now, let us find out what is the Celsius and Fahrenheit values. Now, we want to find out one Celsius that can be written as here Celsius and then we will write here Fahrenheit. Celsius can be written as we know the temperature on Celsius scale is Tc and this is divided by 100 equal parts which is equal to temperature on Fahrenheit scale we will write here Tf but we want to write down 1 Fahrenheit so this is the extra thing this minus this will become 180. So, 180, so temperature minus 32 upon 180. This value is constant. So, instead of Tc, I will write here Celsius upon 100 is equal to F minus 32 upon 180. Hence, after solving this, we will get C is equal to F minus 32 upon 180, this 100 will go here, so this is 100. Then here we have 5 and here 9. So we can write here 5 by 9 F minus 32 which is equal to Celsius C. So this is the relation between C and F that is Celsius and Fahrenheit temperature. Now, we can write here 9 by 5 C is equal to F minus 32. Let us say it was first equation that is equation number A and from that equation way we are writing 9 by 5 C is equal to F minus 32. So, here we can write F is equal to this 9 by 5 C plus 32. This is equation number B. So, in this way we can convert Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, this is the relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Let us see second part that is relationship between Celsius and Kelvin or we can say it is a conversion of Celsius to Kelvin or Kelvin to Celsius. We know melting point of ice on Celsius scale is 0 degree Celsius and the same melting point on the Kelvin scale is 273 Kelvins. So, by adding 273 in the Celsius scale, we will get a Kelvin scale. So, here we can write temperature on Kelvin scale is equal to temperature on Celsius scale plus 273. Or we can write here K is equal to C plus 273. This is equation number A. Or we can write from this equation C is equal to K minus 273. This is equation number B. Just to take example for this. For example, we have to convert. 27 degree Celsius to the Kelvin. Now, 
we have a simple relation that is k is equal to c plus 273 because we know kelvin temperature obtained by addition of 273 in the celsius temperature so here we will write down 273 plus this 27 which equal which is equal to 300 kelvins in this way we can convert degree celsius to kelvin thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and please subscribe ikida thank you